Hello, welcome to Soul Horizons Tarot. I'm doing a love reading for the sign of Gemini. This is a collective reading, so it will not apply to everyone. If this does not sound familiar to you, um, then this is it's not your story. Don't force it to fit your situation. Um, yeah, if you want to know any any uh, details on how to reach out to, for a private reading, all of that is in the description box. Um, please leave a like, share, subscribe, uh, or comment. Um, if you enjoyed this and you want to see future content, and yeah, we're going to start off. This is your side. This is your person's side, whether that's a current connection, a past, or future. Um, just whoever you're here to find out about. Um, the person most on your mind, That's the, this side is theirs. Um, the, this is the energy between you and the future direction, action, and outcome, as well as the overall energy. But we're going to move this to the side and look at your side first. Now signs and or genders of the card may not um, apply. Just pay attention to the energy um, or characteristics of the card. So, we'll get started with you. Your current energy situation is... Oh, and as far as signs, we have your, your sign. Whoa. Your sign, um, Gemini. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Taurus. We have Cancer. What, what the hell? That's the second time I've said Cancer. Some of you may be dealing with a Cancer. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius again here and here with the Page and King of Swords, as well as Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, specifically Leo or um, Aquarius, but does not have to be. So let's look at this Two of Pentacles for your current energy. This is you, singular, okay. Um, not so much about them, just what's what's your current energy situation. Okay. You are showing up as the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So some of you tr may be trying to moderate um, or balance your emotions. Um, some of you may be going back and forth on something, an emotional decision or something is kind of pulling you back and forth um, emotionally. I say that because the Queen of Cups is here. But you could be trying to make a decision, um, but you're kind of stuck in your feelings with it. Uh, the Two of Pentacles is... It's, there is an imbalance with the Two of Pentacles. Um, there could be a need for prioritization picking and choosing. You may be juggling some kind of decision or action that you need or want to take and you're trying to figure out what is the best course of action or what to put your focus into versus what you need to let go. Um, but we're going to see one more with the Queen of Cups and the Two of Pentacles for Gemini's current energy situation. Please, okay. The Three of Wands. You look like you're waiting on something. I'm waiting on something, waiting for someone. There's a period, you seem to be in a period of like stuck in limbo. Maybe you go back and forth on having confidence and then losing faith or you you go back and forth on on something whether something is worth waiting for or not things do seem to be something about your situation seems to be out of whack it needs to be resolved oh let me Oh, by the way, this is the part two. Um, we came from the part one where it was a short reading. This is the longer reading. So if you're wanting a short reading, you're in the wrong video. Um, but yeah, let's see what that... What are, what are you waiting for with that Three of Wands? What is it you're waiting for? 
What are you waiting for? What is Gemini waiting for with the Three of Wands? Maybe biding your time. Okay, we have... You have Cancer, possibly Pisces, with the Moon in reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse coming out. So maybe you're going back and forth on not waiting. Or you're going back and forth on um, something's going to come through and then you immediately, no it's not, it's not going to happen. Or you're waiting for something that just isn't going to happen. You're wasting your time by waiting for something that isn't going to come to pass. With the moon in the reverse, this kind of feels like... Some of you, I don't know why this, I got this, some of you may be waiting on a diagnosis. It could be for mental health, physical health yours or someone else's, or you wanted some kind of clarity, but it's not coming. It is not forthcoming. It is not, it is not happening in the way that you had wanted or would have, would have helped you possibly make some kind of decision. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. This could talk about something that's depressing you. Yeah. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles, please. Yeah, it looks like you're waiting for a communication or a decision, or you're biding your time to make a decision, a final decision, because the Knight of Swords just flipped, but it went back. So it does look like some type of communication. Maybe you're waiting to make to express something, to communicate something, or you're waiting before you make a decision. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles, please, for Gemini's current energy situation. One. Two. Three. Magician. Yeah, you're trying to create something here, you're trying to manifest something, but things are out of whack. It's it's creating a challenge here in order for you to create something. Things in your life are not balanced. They are not evenly dispersed. You are either neglecting or over... Um, You're focusing too hard on it, or you're putting too much time and energy into it. There's a lack of prior proper prioritization or just imbalance. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Tell me about that Queen of Cups. For, okay. Could be in a work situation, or it could be in a partnership. Doesn't have to necessarily be a romantic partnership. Could be a friendship, um, co-workers. A uh, partner, a, a business partner, a family situation. It's got you in your feels, though. And for some of you, it's even got you kind of depressed. Or in a bad mental space, a head space. Some of you may even have gone off your medication, and this is like... This is like your message to start taking it again because you're starting to suffer from the effects of maybe a hormonal imbalance. Maybe it's um, ADD, ADHD. Maybe it's, I'm not trying to, you know, uh, pick on you or anything or say anything. Uh, hurtful, but maybe some of you are on bipolar medication, something like that. But for others, for 
I think the main message here is that something is out of balance. It's preventing you from creating what you want. Or you need to pick... You need to choose wise, wiser. And then some of you are either waiting for something that's not going to pass or... Um, the act of waiting is just holding you back and that you need to take action or move on or let this thing go because it's either not coming in or you're not helping your own situation here. I, it, it could play out several different ways honestly. The messages are, there's many different interpretations for what's going on here. Alright, so let's move on to your feelings towards this person. How do you feel towards this person? Mm. Right, I'm going to put that back because it didn't feel right, but if it comes back out, then that's the card. It was the Emperor. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or have strong Aries placement. Tell me about the Five of Cups for how Gemini feels. What are their feelings for this person? Okay. Death. Scorpio. Some of you are... <clears throat> your feelings have changed. Some of you feel like this is over. That there is no way back. Your feelings have changed. Only one more with death. Yeah. Leo, sun in reverse. The sun in reverse is, you know, it can be a positive card too, but in this sense with death and the five of cups, I feel like this is like a realization that what once was good and what once brought you happiness and joy is now just bringing you pain. It's like the rose-colored glasses have been ripped away and you're left seeing things for how they really are. It's like he's looking at his hand and realizing that his, he has blood on his hands. Or in the, I guess it's wine, but There's been a significant transformation of how you feel about this person. And I feel like it used to be that you felt very, very strongly positive and optimistic about this person. But that has changed drastically. Drastically, drastically changed. Can I get why the deaths? What happened? What was the shift with the death card? Death and death. Are you kidding me? You may have gone through um, a transformation yourself. Um, double transformation. This is very... It's, um, it's irrevocable change. Yeah, the, yeah, I don't think you feel that this is, is, um, I don't think that you feel that your feelings can come back around. Things have shifted too far to turn back or to reverse the clock. Let's move on. You feel a sense of loss. For some of you it may be regret, remorse, guilt, shame. But with the Three of Swords down here, I, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. 
the, the Gemini I'm reading for knows this person, knows them deeply enough to feel a like a terrible sense of loss. It 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 changed you. It is changing you. Tell me about their thought, Gemini's thoughts and feelings about the situation between them and this person. Tell me about Gemini's thoughts and feelings about the situation between Gemini and this person. With the Three of Swords, tell me about the Three of Swords. What their thoughts and feelings about the current situation between them. One. See, this is over. There's no way back. Something about this person changed you and not in a way that you see as positive change. This person or the situation between you hurts you. Three of Swords is a card about grief, loss, heartbreak. And the world with that would be an ending. Like, this is over, the cycle is closed, the chapter is closed, the book is... It's an ending. Alright, one more. This, for some of you, this could have even been a repetitive cycle, and you've reached your limit. Tell me one more with the world and the Three of Swords for Gemini's thoughts and feelings, okay? Uh, Ten of Wands, yeah. This isn't, this isn't ending. Your thoughts and feelings about this is that it's done. It's over. For some of you, maybe you feel like you would have... If you are the one, if you feel guilty about something, you feel like there's no, um, there's no way for you to reconcile. There's no way for you to heal this. But for others of you that are just hurt by this person or the situation, you see it as done. a bit so we can look at their side. Hopefully that's still in view. Alright. Okay. So let's look at their side. So their current energy situation with the Queen of Swords. What is Gemini's okay? This person may be coldly detaching, cutting off friendships. For some of you, this person could even be um, manipulating uh, relationships, sabotaging relationships, maybe mutual friendships. Um, with that Three of Cups in the reverse. But this person could also be um, kind of going uh, hermit mode and removing themselves from any situation that would require them to be social or uh, seek support. They might be like isolating themselves from everyone around them. Tell me one more with the Three of Cups and the Queen of Swords. For some of you, this person may have gone cold turkey as well. Either in cutting people off, in cutting off 
like quitting something cold turkey. Tell me one more. With the Three of Cups and the Queen of Swords for Gemini's person's current energy situation. Justice. Some of this person may be going to seek um, at legal advice or thereafter. This is Libra energy, so strong because we have Queen of Swords. So some of you may be dealing with a Libra. Like the party's over and I'm going to get, I'm going to, to balance something. I'm going to write, I'm going to justify, I'm going to make something right. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Strength, Leo. Yeah, they have a very so strong sense of finding justice. So they could be in a legal battle or a legal situation where something is unfair, unjust in their in their current energy situation and they're trying they're going after writing that mending or um, resolving it. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice in this person's current energy situation. I get this energy, like, it's almost like, um, what do you call that? Vigilanteism. Like they're going on a rampage. <laughs> You know, not not literally, but everything that is useless to them, they're they're cutting off. That's why I got that energy of going cold turkey. Yeah, they're they're also kind of, and this could be attached to you. So maybe they're I think they're hurting, and then. And trying to hurt you in the process for some of you but they're trying to write something that is is wrong they feel cheated or treated unfairly they, they feel like they were done wrong here Trying to bring balance back into an imbalanced situation. Tell me about that Three of Cups in the reverse. Tell me about that Three of Cups in the reverse for this. Okay, Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is all Swords energy. Yeah, no more fun and games. We're not playing around anymore. This is this person's energy. It's harsh. They're being um, unforgiving right now. I don't know if this is like towards you, but because this is their energy situation, you could apply to the situation, but it's like they're removing everything and everyone that does not serve some kind of purpose. All right, let's look at the Hierophant Taurus energy there. How does this person feel about Gemini with the Hierophant? Some of you may, this person may liter literally be divorcing you. They don't want a friendship. They don't want a relationship. Some of them are like literally divorced right now. I'm divorcing you. How does this person feel about Gemini? How does this person feel about Gemini? How does this person feel about Gemini with Hierophant, please? How does this person feel about Gemini? One. There it is. Right. Okay, he came out earlier. Yeah. 
very strong Taurus, but could be Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, they've they've come to um, they've come to a conclusion. Let me get one more, because the energy I'm getting from this is like... Tell me one more of the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Isn't he a nine? No, he's five. What am I thinking? Here's nine. Oh, and that's the Hermit card. Alright, we have the Six of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Some of you may have children with this person. Oh boy. Some of you, this person wants to stick around for the kids, but they might want to do something about custody. Or they're considering what will happen about the kids. Should, should there be a separation here? But others of you, if you don't have kids with this person, this is like... Underneath their... I'm unbothered um, exterior. They are um, haunted because there are happy memories here. There, there was love here. There was uh, shared happiness, memories, nostalgia. Thinking about, they are thinking about the happy times, the better days, the love in the past, they are thinking about it over and over again. They keep coming back to it, but at the same time, they've they've they are they have built a wall, and it's like they're they've come to a conclusion. They're not very happy um, with you or about what's going on. Their feelings are not great with the Hierophant and the Knight of Pentacles. It's like um, I'm committed, but at the same time I kind of resent it. This, for example, this would be like somebody that's, you know, you if you have children, what if that's not your story, then that's fine, but this is just an example. I have children with this person, so I'm going to commit, I'm going to remain um, dedicated and devoted to a traditional family dynamic, but I'm not happy about it, if that makes sense. Like, I will stick around for the kids, because I owe that, I owe them that kind of uh, presence and support and structure. But at the same time, they do think, they do think about when it was good, when it was sweet between you two. They're not acting on how they really feel. I feel a hardness here. Like a stony exterior built around the soft spot. For some of you, you are dealing with a cancer. <laughs> or a cancer-like person. Like, if, if they feel hurt in the situation, they clam up. They shut down. And that's, their feelings towards you are kind of, it's almost like a forced 
I, I will deal with you because I have to, but I don't like it, but I have to because that's my priority. Something about it is my priority or obligated. I'm obligated to be devoted or committed. Some of you may like you you may share a home and you have you have to finish out a lease with this person and you have no choice or you work with this person. It's that kind of energy. Like you have to interact. But it's They're holding you at a distance at the same time if they're in the same room with you. They're cold. Tell me about that Nine of Wands. Tell me about that Nine of Wands for their thoughts and feelings about the situation between them and Gemini. Tell me about that Nine of Wands. They're guarded, they're protective, they're defensive, they have their walls up. Tell me more about that Nine of Wands for the, their thoughts and feelings about the current situation. still have hope. They still have hope, but they keep it very small and they hide it and they don't shine. It's like that song. I don't know why it popped in my head. This little light of mine, I'm not, I'm gonna let it shine, but in this case, I'm not gonna let it shine. star. Oh, that's Aquarius energy, by the way. Tell me one more with the star and the nine of wands. One more with the star and the nine of wands, please, for their thoughts and feelings about the current energy situation between Gemini and them. One more with the star and the nine of wands. Guard this wish. It's like, like I said, they're they're putting on a front that they're unbothered. They could care less. Is that the death card? Yeah. They don't see a way out of this either. They hope for a, a rebirth, a transformation, but it's it's so protected, so hidden so um, small. They keep it so small within themselves. They also don't see a way. They hold on to it secretly. It's a secret wish. But I don't think they would act on it. But then again, they did show up with the King of Wands. So maybe they do make a last ditch Hail Mary effort. But right now they're they're holding it. They're holding it hostage. They're holding it close to their chest and not letting it um Not letting you see it. Some of you, this person may be hoping for an ending. A clean ending. But for the most for the most part, the, the strongest energy I feel is like deep down they, they, they still have a desire to want to either heal this or uh, reconcile. But I don't I don't think they see a way to do that. It's like a it, for some of you it's a dying or for some of them it's a dying hope that this can be it's like the phoenix feather that she's holding here. But then we have death. Okay. 
So let's move on to the energy between the two of you. So the mutual energy situation between the two of you right now as it stands. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles, about the current situation energy between Gemini and this person. What is the current energy situation between Gemini and this person with the Six of Pentacles? Okay. Five of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're butting heads here. You're butting heads. The Five of Wands, which is right here where your strength is, and the Six of Pentacles. It's like every time you seem to make a little bit of progress, um, there's... There's too much friction here to create something realistic. It's like someone's always on the attack, someone's always on the offensive or defensive. It's like you're on opposite teams, you're not... As much as you try to remain civil, because for a lot of you, I think you're in a situation where you have no choice but to um, deal with this person. Like you either work together or you share a home together. Uh, tell me one more the Five of Wands and the Six of Pentacles for the current energy situation. There does seem to be, oh gosh, there's some sexual tension here. Uh, but it's not met with anything but like, okay, for an example, you may dress in a way to catch their eye or you just dress the way you normally do, but you know that they are attracted to you but then instead of like allowing themselves to admire you or um, check you out, then they say something kind of hurtful. Tell me about one, one more with the Five of Wands and the Six of Pentacles about the current energy between Gemini and this person. Tell me one more with the Five of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Some of you may be the mother of their child, or this may be the mother of your child. It feels like a situation in which you have no, um, you have no choice. You, you, you have three of three. When I looked at the clock, this is a three. Um, I don't know why that might be significant to you, but it's just happened to look.
you have no choice but to, to deal with this person, to, to interact, to cooperate. There could be children involved, and that's why. But there's also way too much friction, tension, some of it sexual tension, but a lot of it is just a clashing of wills, a clashing of egos, or like coming off very defensive and then reacting. Um, and it, it, it creates an impossible standard to, you know, effectively communicate, effectively cooperate, create some type of working relationship. There could be a mother individual involved here. It doesn't have to be your mother or their mother, but there may be a, a mother type. I'm going to look at that. I'm curious about what the Empress is. Some of you could be pregnant or expecting. Maybe that's why. Maybe you don't have children. You're actually carrying a child uh, or expecting. You could have a mutual uh, business together and you can't separate because of that. You can't just cut ties. You have to run a business until you know that kind of thing can be sorted out. It could be a home. You both have uh, financial assets, something like that. Tell me about this Empress. Tell me about the Empress for the current energy situation. Tell me about the, f the current energy situation. The Empress, the Four of Swords. Yeah, it's it's like it could be a interference with a mother or a boss, a feminine, a, f a female boss, or um, something to do with something you've created together as a team, but now. You have to continue to try to work together, but the Four of Swords is like it's a complete and utter headache. It's like it exhausts you, the both of you, to deal with one another. <laughs> this is so weird. Not weird, it's just kind of like uncomfortable. It's like, okay, uh, it's, it's awkward. Like anybody that is around you. Hold on, let me stop this real quick. You won't, don't go anywhere. Okay, uh, yeah, so it's like awkward silence, awkward tension. It could be like you guys haven't finalized the divorce, and anybody that's around you, or their friends or family, it's the tension in, in the air can be felt, and it, it creates these awkward silences. and moments but it's completely draining for a lot of you I think that's what it is because everybody can feel the tension surrounding you too you're forced into a position where you have to cooperate with one another but it's not easy it's draining it's exhausting Alright, tell me about the strengths of this connection. What are the strengths between Gemini and this person as a couple? What are the strengths between Gemini and this person as a couple? What are the strengths with the Five of Swords? Tell me, okay. Page of Wands. Okay, you're very creative together. You're very ambitious. You, you spark each, each other's creativity in some way. You get each other fired up. There's a competitive competitive, playful spirit. You challenge each other. Um, it, it, again, like I said in the first part, in the part one, the short, it's like you challenge each other and, and if it was harnessed correctly, you know, you could use it to your advantage, to the both of your advantage. You're good at initiating things, maybe projects. You both have good ideas. You work well together, you, that competitive edge is there, um, but I feel like it gets in the way and it turns into 
jealousy, um, you know, two, two people that want to have to take control of a thing and then they fight, clashing of will, clashing of ego, but this is a strength. If this was harnessed correctly, this is the kind of explosive that could be used for, you know, um, really like, like a projects. Like starting off as, you know, an A team, the alpha team, and then grow from there. But there's tell me one more with the page of wands. You have a lot of passion. The sexual chemistry seems to be off the charts. That might be one of your strengths. Who knows? Um, the passion between you two. You're both passionate people, and you bring that out in one another as well. Tell me about the strengths. Tell me about the strengths. Oh my goodness. Okay, we had the Two of Cups come out, but it didn't fully commit. I think that's the problem here. You don't commit to it. Not you in particular, but you both. Tell me about the Page of Wands and the Five page and five of wands for the strength between Gemini and this person. One more with the page and the five of wands. You have a lot of ideas. You're good problem solvers. Okay. Six of cups. Yeah, you do have a past here. You do have happy memories. You do have love. The six of cups can talk about soulmate, soul, past life connection. But basically, there could be children involved for some of you, but basically there is long, or a lot of history here. A lot of shared happy memories. <sighs> you get each other fired up in a good way. There's passion and love. With the page of swords showing up as a challenge. Like you're really good at starting things off together with that page of wands, but it doesn't always fully commit and see it through. And with the page of swords here as the challenge, I, th I feel like this, what could be used for good, turns into, again, jealousy. Um, clashing, bickering, fights, petty arguments. So tell me about the challenges, the challenges between Gemini and this person in, in love. What are the ch things that are challenging them, blocking them? Tell me about the page of using this. Oh, um, that's too many. I needed to use the other deck. Why is this off? What the heck? One second. Sorry, my timer's supposed to be on. Tell me one more. Or tell me more about this page of swords. The challenges or obstacles here between Gemini and this person and a commitment and a connection. Tell me about this page of swords. One. A lot of, yeah, that's it too. Poor communication, a lot of misunderstandings, confusion surrounding communi confusion surrounding communication. It could be childishness as far as like how you communicate, how you express yourself to each other it comes off very childish, immature, um, or just inexperienced. But I think it's it's mainly just a lot of misunderstandings. 
unnecessary. Tell me one more with the Seven of Cups and the Page of Swords. One more with the Seven of Cups. Okay. Yeah, you both feel misunderstood. You feel isolated. You feel alone because of these, or the lack of communication, the poor communication. You feel rejected, abandoned. I think you both kind of let, let each other down because this is mutual. You both kind of let each other down and then how you express yourself to one another it only adds to the feeling of isolation, loneliness, struggle, lack. Tell me about this page of swords. Tell me about the page of swords for the challenge. Tell me about the page of swords for the challenge here. Page of Swords, please, okay. Yeah. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Stubbornness. A stubborn insistence that I'm right, no, I'm right, no, I'm right, no, I'm not wrong. <laughs> Just because you're right, you're right doesn't make me wrong. We're both right, but then you can't come to any kind of agreement because you're both stuck on winning. It's like the way he's sitting back. <sighs> Maybe one more so than the other just kind of lets things play out. After the misunderstanding, they just watch. They watch the other. There could be miscommunication around finances, especially or disagreements surrounding finance, money. One person may feel like they uh, they make a bigger impact or they make more money or they they contribute more than the other po possibly can and they use it as kind of a weapon they weaponize the fact that they are a better provider. That's a crappy energy. I don't like that at all. Yeah, they make the other person feel bad about what they do for a living, about how they contribute or what they're capable of contributing. They make them feel like shit about it. Stop trying to die. It's my timer's on. Not die, but shut down. Uh, that That's crappy. It's like, I have all the money you need me, or I have all the money you can't possibly uh, contribute as much as I do. You can't possibly... Uh, I don't like that at all. That's gross. I hope that's not coming from you. You are the one that's hurting. So maybe this person does that to you. They hold it over your head that they are, you know, more financially capable, more financially stable. And it makes you feel like crap. So let's move this out of the way so we can get the future direction. It's like you could both do something together as a team, but you don't work as a team. I think it, 
it's kind of impossible to if with that kind of attitude, with that kind of behavior, if that's what's going on. How can you feel like you're part of a team if you're always feeling like you're lesser than? Or you're incapable or you're um, you're unappreciated or undervalued. That's gross. That's tacky and classless. You're not supposed to bring the person down, you're supposed to bring them up. So whoever's doing that, that's... Do better. Be better. That's selfish. Alright, uh, tell me about the future direction of this connection between Gemini and this person. Tell me about the future direction between Gemini and this person with the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords for the future direction of this connection between Gemini and this person. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. An unclear decision, indecision over a choice. Not making a choice, a refusal to make a choice. about this Queen of Pentacles. Who is the Queen of Pentacles here? Who is the Queen of Pentacles? I feel like it's the feminine. Whoever's the feminine and you know you could both be males. This could be a same sex but who's the more feminine? Or the mother possibly. Whoever's the mother in the situation. Sorry. Who is uh, could be a Sagittarius. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Who is this? Or the growth of this thing is uncertain. Tell me about that Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, the world. Yeah, somebody's abundance here is in question. Their ability to move on. Their ability to move forward. What's the choice? Eight of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot. There's no no choice being made as of yet. It's stagnant. It's stuck. You had the world on year end, so I think this Queen of, Queen of Pentacles is you. It could be your other the other person, or it could be just the ability to grow. Anything between the two of you is hindered here because it's sitting in the Two of Swords. So this is a refusal, outright refusal, or it's choosing not to cho choose, make a decision, come to a decision, choose a path. And the Two of Wands is standing at the crossroads with the Eight of Swords clarifying that. It's like you're, you're sitting in that energy for a bit. There's no movement here. I kind of feel like it's more so you, like you're indecisive, but it could be mutual. It could be that you're waiting for things to close out and finalize with the world, you're waiting for it to be over officially, and you can't make any decisions at the moment because this person isn't um, providing a clear choice but for the most part you're sitting in at a crossroads, you're sitting at a crossroads here there's no um, immediate action or movement or progress for the future 
Tell me about what action with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, specifically Leo, does not have to be. The Tower came out. Uh, Scorpio, Aries, so could be dealing with an Aries. But let me let me keep going because I was a little distracted and talking. Um, what what action can Gemini expect this person to take towards them? What action can Gemini expect to this person? Okay. Ooh. Capricorn energy. <sighs> you did have a lot of passion. This person may try to get a booty call here. But I, the body language I'm getting from this, that, that may be the only thing they're really after. Just the intimacy, the sexual gratification. Tell me one more with the devil and the king of wands. This also could be a power play, trying to take control in a unhealthy way. Tell me about the devil and the king of wands, trying to take control, trying to manipulate. Tell me about the devil and the king of good grief. Devil and the King of Wands. For what action can Gemini expect this person to take towards them? Okay. Ace of Wands, yeah. They're going to take an action towards you. I don't know if I trust it. Honestly, this could be just um, wanting sex, basically. Hopefully, we're all adults here. Tell me about the King of Wands. What's their intention, motives, or energy in taking this action? Tell me about this King of Wands. Is their action towards Gemini? So, uh, some of you, it's gaining the upper hand. They're using sex to gain the upper hand. Some of you, it is an Aries. Emperor. Yeah, it's about control. Using sex as a, uh, as a means to control, using a passion. They want to domineer or dominate. They're coming in strong here. At least that's their, the vibe they're giving. What do they want with that Ace of Wands? Oh gosh, Emperor and the Wheel. They may want to start up this again with the wheel, but they want it to go in their favor with the Emperor showing up again. This is very strong Aries, so taking initiative, spearheading, taking control, controlling the situation, dominating. I'm not liking the sense of I'm going to be the leader here, unless it's well meant, like, this isn't, yeah, they're coming in strong, but it's, it's like they're overcompensating or they're, uh, maybe even a, abuse of power. And we did have that energy of them hoarding the, or holding it over your head that they are a better provider, a better contributor, more financially capable than you. That's kind of a continuation of this energy. They're wanting things to go in their favor and they are coming in with an offer with that Ace of Wands. Yeah, they're, they're going to communicate here. The Knight of Cups just flipped out. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Knight of Cups again. Yeah, they're coming in with an emotional... Ex they're, they're expressing their, themselves. I'm not sure if I trust their intentions. Because I think they just want to feel like they win. They conquer. They want things to go in their favor. But I, I, I kind of feel like it's a selfish... 
I don't think they have... It's not like they're coming in strong and saying, look, this is what I want, I'm passionate about this, it's, you know, I'm, I'm decided, I'm confident. It's more like, I just want to feel like I win, I won. They're definitely going to take action towards you, though. But with the Emperor showing up twice, I think it's like... overbearing. And maybe you're attracted to that. Maybe that's how they abuse the power here. Maybe you're attracted to someone that's, you know, um, highly motivated. Highly ambitious. There is a lot of masculine, assertive, dominant energy. This is very, very masculine energy coming in. And I do think sexual attraction, magnetism, chemistry plays a part in what they're, the, the card that they're playing here. Very much so, because even this card, this is the devil, and we have this card that reminds me of Eve and Lilith, and the apples. It's like they're playing an age-old game here, and tempting you. That's also, you know, the devil is a temptation. For some of you, the sex is out of this world, and uh, they know that that has worked on you in the past. Crazy. Crazy energy there. Definitely making moves though. There's no question about that. Let's look at the outcome. I should have kept those cards. I don't know why I didn't. Could have at least kept the Emperor. Whatever. Um, let's keep going. Nope. Am I using you again? As I'm supposed to. All right, uh, King of King of Swords. Tell me about that King of Swords for the outcome here. Tell me about that King of King of Swords for the outcome between Gemini and this person. Tell me about the King of Swords. For the Eight of Cups and the King of Swords. Eight of Cups and the King of Swords for the outcome between Gemini and this person. One more with the Eight of Cups and the King of Swords for the outcome. The probable outcome between Gemini and this person. One more, please. One more with the Eight of Cups and the King of Swords. Try to. One. Two. Three. Three of wands. Alright, tell me about this King of Swords. Well, this is a final decision. What are we doing with that Eight of Cups? What's going on with that Eight of Cups? We're walking away or walking back in? What are we doing with that Eight of Cups? What are we doing with the Eight of Cups? The wheel. We're trying to re start a cycle again. And the Three of Cups, or excuse me, Three of Wands. Hmm. Okay, no. 
Somebody wants to try their luck elsewhere. I don't know if it's you or this person. They want to try their luck elsewhere. Look towards the future. Hope they get lucky somewhere else or in a different direction, in a different future. Judgment with the King of Swords. What is the, the final judgment with the King of Swords? She's like, we're, we're choosing to walk away. Whoever this King of Swords is, whether that's you or this person, choosing to walk away because it has been cyclical, because it it's the wheel that keeps returning you right back to where you were. Or luck does not favor you in this connection. Yeah. So if you want to try your hand elsewhere, or they do. For some of you, this this person or you want to move in a direct, different direction. Another interpretation of this is that we're trying again. We're trying our hand again, trying our luck again. But it feels like it's just a rinse and recycle, repetitive. It's just a repeat over and over again because somebody is stuck in their ways, basically. Not a fan. The love is kind of run out here, regardless of which outcome is the correct one or the, the correct one for your situation. It looks like there's not, there's imbalance here in love, or there is not the right amount, or you're not at the same place emotionally to be an effective or healthy partnership and you're just going to keep repeating the same thing over and over and over it's, or it's just going to be a repeat repeat of what has already happened okay let me put these back up Whatever the, the judgment call is here, it's final. It does feel final. So whether that's walking away to try our luck elsewhere or um, try our luck again with, with this person or with you if this is this person making this decision. But it feels like with the Two of Cups in the reverse, regardless of which one of those is correct, the Two of Cups is like there's not enough love here. Or it's been twisted, tainted, corrupted. It's been poisoned. All right, so we're gonna clarify the overall energy, which is the lovers, that's yours. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, if I didn't say. Gemini energy there. Tell me about the overall energy. There is a strong connection here between the two of you. Tell me about the lovers for the overall energy between Gemini and this person's reading. What is the overall energy? No, nope, that's way too many. What is the overall energy between Gemini and this person? One, two, three. 
me one more to nine. You know, there there is a potential for happiness between you, but there's also a potential of happiness apart. Because I'm I'm gonna be honest, the challenge here was very just awful feeling. It was kind of It was cringy. And I feel like somebody in the situation knows that they deserve more from a connection, even though this is a strong connection, even though there is the potential for that Ten of Cups between the two of you, that ultimate happiness, fulfillment, love. But it's not quite, quite where it needs to be. Either you as individuals are not where you need to be, you know, um, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, or financially, experience-wise, you know, it's like you need to grow a little bit more. This connection is very strong, is very deep. It's emotional, physical, mental, spiritual connection that has the capacity to be this Ten of Cups, which is that happiness happily ever after but the nine of pentacles tells me it's not quite there yet it's like one or the both of you has just a little bit more growing to do because whatever your strengths are they're overshadowed by your challenges and the challenges are pretty It was enough to turn me off to this person completely. If that was them. That, I mean, it could be you. If you are the one that's hoarding your wealth and, um, you know, financial position or whatever that may be over them, that is on you. That's your where you need to grow. It was kind of heartbreaking. But I feel like it's on you, on your end, that you're receiving that because you're the one that's really hurt here. Alright, so that is your reading. Let me know how it resonates in the comments. Um, feel free to like, share, subscribe if, um, if you enjoyed the reading and want to see future content. I appreciate each and every one of you that have stuck around uh, this far. Um, every little bit of support I really, really um, i am grateful for. Um, but yeah, that's your reading. And uh, I, I guess, um, yeah, we'll see. I'll talk to you next time. Have a great rest of the week. Good luck with that, Gemini.